I'll show you how to use Affinity Photo's Select Subject command, which is powered by machine learning. First, I'll need to install two machine learning models in order to use this feature. The easiest way to do this is to go to the Select menu and choose Select Subject. A notification will appear, prompting me to navigate to the Settings dialog by clicking this button. Here, I want to click Install for both the Segmentation model and the Saliency model. Now that I have the models installed, I can use Select Subject to quickly select the most prominent subject in the image. With this selection active, I could then perform some local adjustments. For example, I could add a selective color adjustment and manipulate the balance of the reds and yellows. I can also deselect with Command D on Mac, Control D on Windows to remove the marching ants. The adjustment is masked to the area I had selected. You can see this clearly on the mask thumbnail here. And I can hide and then show the adjustment layer to clearly see the areas that are being changed. Although Select Subject is useful in this form, it really comes into its own when used as part of a macro. I'll demonstrate on this image by deleting the adjustment, then going to Window, Macro. I'll click Record here. Then I'll use Select Subject. I could then make a macro that sets up masked groups for subject and background retouching. I'll create the first group from the layer menu, name it Subject, then add a mask layer to it, and select the parent group. Don't worry about the result on screen at the moment. This will be addressed when I start putting layers into the groups. I'll invert the selection, create a second group, and name it Background, then add a mask layer, select the parent group, and deselect. Now I can start to put layers into these two groups depending on what I want to achieve. For example, I might add a curves adjustment, then use Arrange, Move Inside, to put it inside the background group. I'll select the parent group, then select the subject group beneath it, add another curves adjustment, and move it inside the group. I might then also add a Live Clarity filter. Now that I have layers inside the groups, the original image has been fully restored. I'll select the parent group and stop recording. I'll save the macro to the default category and call it Subject slash Background Retouching, then click OK. I could then run this macro on a different document. I'll use the Curves adjustment in the background group to darken the background detail. And I'll use the Clarity filter in the subject group to enhance texture or structure of the flower. If you were to create this kind of macro and record manipulation of the adjustment and filter parameters, you could run the macro as part of a batch job and process multiple images very quickly. You could, for example, have a macro that brightens and saturates the subject, then darkens and desaturates the background. Hopefully this has given you some ideas for how to use the Select Subject command. Thank you for watching.